Look, we all have motivation. All of us have internal motivation. You just probably have misplaced motivation. In other words, you have motivation to not do the task you want to do and do the simpler task. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly why you're not motivated to do the things that you need to do that you know are gonna pay in the long run. Let's hop into it. Number one, you just lack passion. Look, if you're not passionate about something, it's very hard to be motivated about it because it's just gonna be a drag. And even the reward is not gonna seem as good because again, you don't have any passion for it. Which is why I tell you so many times, it's important to read more, learn more, increase your knowledge and find what you're actually passionate about. We all have something we're gonna be passionate about and once you find it, I promise you, you're gonna live, eat and breathe this thing and it's just gonna feel natural. You're gonna be motivated to do it. But the only way you do this is by actually finding it first. So you do need the motivation to read more, experience more, join more hobbies, learn more activities, increase your skill set so you can find that passion. Number two, you're indulging in fruitless tasks. Like for example, being on your phone all day long, that's a fruitless task. There was actually a study that found that students that heavily use social media not only were less creative, but also had less writing skills on top of being less motivated to perform academically. And this makes sense. Yo, Everybody's gonna be less motivated if all you see is the appearance of success of others and that's all that's on your timeline. If, you just, if you're just seeing people flex on IG and TikTok all day long, you're gonna think like, what the heck? Why, why am I even doing this? Number three, your energy is garbage. Your motivation is driven by your internal energy, but you're not prioritizing sleep. You're not prioritizing going to the gym. You're eating like garbage. So think of your, yourself like a Tesla car. You're basically operating life at 10% battery, what is your body gonna do? If it's smart, it's gonna remove anything that's unnecessary and basically you're just gonna perform the activities that you, the bare minimum activities that you need just to survive that day. This is why sleep is so important. See, when you recuperate, when you're operating life at 100% charge, now you're not only gonna complete the bare minimum, but you have the energy and thus motivation to complete other stuff that's gonna get you where you want to be. This is why, guys, sleep is important. And if you're spending hours on your phone, yo, this is why you're not able to sleep. The blue light that the phone emits, this is what's keeping you up all night till two in the morning and then you gotta wake up at seven the next day. So if you're using your phone all the time, yo, throw on a pair of blue light blocking glasses. These are a new modernist. These drop tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. It's our new collection and these blue lights, boys, not only do you look sexier, not only do you look smarter, but when you're on your phone all day long, it's blocking that blue light that the phone is emitting. Now, you can sleep comfortably because now the blue light is not gonna mess with your mind or your internal body clock. See, what blue light does is it basically tells your body that it's still daylight outside. So now, your body's melatonin levels are all jacked up and you're not getting tired when you should be. But when you wear blue light blockers, you're blocking that light, that effect is null and void, and now you can go to sleep comfortably knowing that tomorrow you're gonna be full of energy. My guy, if you guys wanna check out our blue light blockers from Jay Black, like I said, they drop tomorrow. I don't want you to miss it. This is probably gonna sell out fast and I'm telling you, once it's gone, it's gonna be months till we can replace that stuff. If you guys wanna check it out, put a reminder on your phone. You gotta be one of the first ones there. Which takes us on to number four. You're forgetting the benefits and the rewards. See, most people get dismotivated by daunting tasks like uh, going to the gym, losing weight, going to work, because all they're seeing is the current discomfort that they're gonna have to face to do that task right now. However, they completely forget about the future rewards and benefits that are gonna come if you complete this task now and tomorrow and the next day. So next time you feel completely unmotivated to do that hard task, let's say it's like going to the gym, I don't want you to just focus on going to the gym, but instead focus on that six pack you want. Uh, that increased PR, that higher bench press, that healthy lifestyle that you want. Focus on that and I guarantee you, you're gonna feel more motivated to go and do it. Number five, you're not setting up many habits. See, most people, when they want something big, they just wanna set one big goal and get it done once and for all. Then, because that goal was so overwhelming, we'll face one small fail and we'll be dismotivated to continue to do it. This is exactly why you need to focus on setting up small habits. Let's take the weight loss, for example. See, instead of going on a crazy seven time a, a week, going to the gym three hours a day and then starting some crazy low carb keto diet out of nothing, it's much easier to make small habit changes. For example, 
let's say instead of, let's say on the first week, you'll just get rid, rid of sugary drinks. That's all you'll do. You'll do everything else the same, but you'll replace all sugary drinks with water. That's a small habit that's a lot easier to tackle. And instead of going to the gym every day, you'll go out for a walk for 20 minutes every single day. See, what these small habits do is it reinforces these positive habits. So now you're forcing yourself to prioritize those 20 minute blocks every day to go for a walk. And since it going for a walk is easy, more likely to actually go and do it because it's not as uncomfortable. After you progress, you can easily start increasing the intensity of both of these habits. And finally, number six, yo, you're in bed all day. A study done by the University of Tokyo found that laying in bed too much can be hurting your motivation. See, laying in bed all day can have a decline on both your mood and your well-being. And they found this on a group of guys that they studied over a a course of 20 days, the group that spent most of their time in bed had a decline in performance and motivation. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are six reasons why you're always unmotivated. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. And also, boys, don't forget that tomorrow our collection is dropping. Pro members already shopping today. This stuff is flying. I don't want you to miss it. That's it for me today. See you next time.